morning. Welcome to the uh, virtual web meeting. Um, like, thank you for tuning in. Hope you're healthy and your families are safe. And without any further ado, we'll get into the president's report. Uh, power utility, working some overtime. 8061 still on 710s, working infrastructure upgrade, new projects. Dearborn engine plant, uh, the 2.0 liter upgrade three. I started the floor on several pull ahead projects related to the upcoming tear out and install. February 26 uh, will be job last. They will start the due care removal and then complete the tear out uh, during March. April will see the install and then the commissioning, TT and PP builds, ProTag, et cetera. March, April of 22 is expected job one. Uh, we still have not been given uh, future state numbers of trades in that building, which is nothing new when dealing with powertrain. Uh, Dearborn truck plant, the heritage bump window is closed and labor has all the bump sheets. They will be notifying anyone affected by the bump, working regular schedule and some overtime. DDMP, working regular schedule. Stamping plant, uh, heritage bump window closed. The bump slips are with labor and they will notify anyone affected by that bump. World headquarters, still working 710s on various projects and expect to work 100% um, for the foreseeable future. Uh, vehicle service center, working regular schedule. Uh, the BEV building, or the DEVC as it's being called. Posting for the BEV launch team came down on January 18th. They'll be looking for a master electrician, an electrician, a fitter, a millwright, a PM planner, tool maker, and a machine repair. Those people who bid will be interviewed uh, collaboratively with uh, management and our unit leadership. Those awards will not be made on uh, seniority singularly, although it is always the tiebreaker. Those selected will be expected to stay in place, uh, are expected to be in place by February 1st. There'll be a training matrix and those trades will become the train the trainer. Uh, they'll be expected to visit vendors, look at new equipment, uh, evaluate the efficacy of PMs and cadence, et cetera. The PM planner bid will be a, jo a joint process between the tool and die and our tool and die unit and our unit. Uh, because it's an amalgamated bid, we'll be using Ford seniority as the tiebreaker, not the DOE, like we do in most every other case. Uh, management ex has expressed a desire for those selected to be in place for 18 to two years. 18 months to two years. That's yet to be decided. Uh, they'll have eight trades in February, uh, eight trades added in August, uh, 10 in November, and seven in January for a total of 33 heads. There'll also be an AC mechanic on board as well. We expect that person to come from Romeo uh, once the BEV and DEVC is up and running. Uh, once it is, it'll be a department within truck like all the others, meaning it will be subject to the heritage bump every January. I wanted to take a minute to talk about bumps and the way they work and there's a lot of confusion especially around bump season and people think they understand it and they really don't so I wanted to take a minute to tell you exactly how the language works and how it bumps are administrated so when we open up a heritage bump period for whatever that window is you can by seniority select a building or depart a department of your choice once that window closes all of those bids are put on a table and they're awarded at that moment based on seniority. So if by seniority you bid to go to department A and you don't have the seniority to go to department A, that bid is taken and put aside because it's not awarded. The only bids that are awarded during that snapshot are the bids that have seniority to move to the department that they can move to. At that point, we affect the bid process and we talk to the person who has been affected by that bump. A person affected by that bump, meaning they got bumped, can then use their seniority to go to department, a different department, if they choose. If they cannot, they go to the department to which they got bumped and everything is closed. There's a lot of confusion because you might find someone with lower seniority who got bumped to a department that you had placed a bid for. That could happen. Unfortunately, the bids are based on seniority snapshot from the onset, meaning that if your bid was put in and you didn't have the, the seniority to go to that department, your bid is put aside and it doesn't exist. The only bids that exist are the bids that can be awarded by seniority by the snapshot. And then the people who are affected by that bid then have a safety bump. So might someone wind up in a department with less seniority than you that you wanted to be in? Yes, that could happen. Is it uncomfortable? Yes, but seniority is everything, and that's how it all shakes out. So I just wanted to take a minute to cover that because it seems like every, every bump season in January, we've got a bunch of, of questions, and 
people that are upset because one thing happened or this thing happened and, and I just wanted to put that out there so you understand we always follow the language, we always follow seniority, we never would purposely or uh, uh, um, vindictively not allow someone to move to an apartment they truly wanted to. After the bump period, if you choose, you can contact the person in that department that got bumped if they don't want to be there. You could do a mutual trade. There's a lot of other moving parts that you can do after the fact. But I did want to cover the bumps and I've put it out several times. I have it out in a note. Um, I put it out a last bump period and I put it out again this bump period. And I just really felt it necessary to talk to you directly and tell you exactly how the bumps are administrated per our language. Could we do things differently? We can always do things differently, but that language has to be amended and it has to be put in as a, uh, as a resolution, has to be voted on, et cetera, et cetera. So as it stands now, per our local contract, the way we administrate the bids, that's it. And um, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to that, but that's, I did want to cover that, and we felt it prudent and necessary to, to uh, put that out there clearly. Uh, committee reports, health and safety. F road between body and Bev is going to be a problem, a big problem. There will be exponentially more trucks and traffic traveling in that area. We already have had people hit and injured at the employee crosswalk. At present, there are several ideas uh, that are on the table. We keep you posted as that issue is addressed, but understand that it's, it's a mess now and it's not going to get any less messy. Uh, benefits. MetLife is now a life insurance provider for Ford Motor Company. Please take the time to provide the dependent verification at the My, Board, My Ford Benefits site. You can scan them and upload them, et cetera, et cetera. I know several people called to say they were having trouble. Uh, but please do it as quickly as you can. Uh, if the window closes, you might find uh, your dependents have been removed because of no verification. Uh, JAC, 91 apprentices currently on rolls. Pipefitter and Millwright uh, uh, rotating um, already happened. Uh, we currently have 371 people on apprentice rating, uh, waiting list. Tools and toolboxes are being issued as quickly as they can. Please be patient. Uh, job security with the BEV being constructed and DEP ramping up, there'll be massive contractor presence on site, of course. We expect all of our affected trades to be working overtime uh, during this whole time frame. Um, with that, I wanted to thank uh, Paul Mori and Dwayne Glass for being here. I wanted to thank Mike Young for doing the recording. And again, if you ever have any questions or comments or concerns, you can always send them off to the committee. Text me, um, text one of the guys, email, whatever. Uh, we'll cover any issue you want uh, covered. And um, if, there's, if there's another process that we have you want explained in, in, deep, in depth, uh, let me know. We'll, we'll, anything that's contract, anything that's language, I'd be happy to explain it and walk through it with you and tell you all that is. Um, so with that, I wish you well, wish you health and safety, and thank you very much.